Hello YouTubers and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial Load Acorn Electron Games from a CD-ROM In this section we are going to test the WAV files in a free audio editing software called Audacity which is available free to download as it's open source uh, Once we've tested uh, the files to make sure they're ok we can then go into the burning process and so on now we're in Audacity and incidentally I'm using the beta version so um, it's the 1.3.12 beta Unicode and it's more compatible with um, Vista so it's the better version to use for Vista so I've been told <laughs> right anyway so let's import our audio so we go to import from the file menu click on import audio and we can import all if you just so you click in a bit of space keep your hand on the left mouse button keep your finger on it, sorry not your hand and then drag up a box so that all of them are selected and click open you'll see they all come in one after another right so now we'll start on this one here and if you just click anywhere here you'll see that highlight and then we can play this now just to test that it's actually converted As you can see from that lovely noise, it has converted Boxer, so I'm happy with that. I'll stop that. That one's fine. Now we'll check Chucky Egg. Beautiful. Right, Chucky Egg's done. Now we'll check it. It's always best just to give it a. I always like to give it a quick check just to make sure I'm not burning coasters. I'm wasting my time trying to load something that's not going to load. So here we go, let's delete. Right, that's elite. And now, last but not least, snapper. So as you can see from all of the, uh, those tests, they're fine. No, I don't need to say changes. It's just simply f purely for testing purposes. So now we're ready to burn it onto a CD. Right. To burn it onto a CD, I'm going to use Nero, like burning ROM. But you can use any software burning tool that you desire. It doesn't have to be Nero. So what we want to do, we want to make an audio CD. So we click on make an audio CD. Give it a moment so it can do its thing. There we go. We need to add some files. So we click on add. As you can see, Nero will always default to its core folder. But we don't want that. We want to go to our folder. So we click on C. Games to tape. Acorn, Game Webs, and just highlight the whole lot, and then add. There we go, so we can close this off now. We don't need to preview it. So, you can see there's only like a, I mean, you can literally fit quite a few games on here, really, because it really doesn't take up a lot of space. I reckon you could get about 30 games on, on one CD. So, it's fantastic to keep all your games in one tiny place, the CD takes up no space at all and you consider the boxes and all the rest of it. so you can safely put your collection away somewhere safe and if you want to use your retro hardware you've got it stored in a convenient CD which is about 2 pence, 5 pence to replace and some of these games can be priceless so we don't want to damage our games do we? Right, you don't want to put normalize all files because that will change the tone of the, of the you, don't want, you don't want no pause between tracks either so just leave those unticked click on next if you so desired you could put a CD text title there on it but I can't be bothered it's just for demonstration purposes only so I'm just going to click burn and because it's, uh, it's burning at 24 speed as you can see it's going at quite a rate of knots rate of knots so it shouldn't take too long for your CD to burn and once it's done so we can then test it out on the Acorn Electron itself. 
So bear with me, I'm going to be quiet now while it finishes the process. Completed in all together. There we go. So now it's just going to finalise it, and then we can try it out on our uh, hardware. We quit out of this. No, we don't want to save that. Right then. Now all remains is for us to um, test it out. So let's hook up our electron, Acorn electron, and see how it went. Right then, I have my uh, newly created disc, and if you can see that, Acorn Electron Games Test, and not much has been burned, or even just to barely make out the uh, the line there, sort of roughly about there, isn't it? Um, so basically, that's going to go in a CD to load up my Acorn Electron game. Now, what you um, will need to invest in is uh, you just, there's two methods you can use. You could, you must, everyone must have uh, heard of these cassettes. These, these are like um, they're called 3.5 mil carjack cast cassette tape adapters for MP3, etc., etc. Basically, if you had an iPod and you had one of the old-fashioned cast areas of just a cassette player, you would plug that into your cassette player in your car plug that in into your iPod, then you can play your iPod through your cassette player on your car stereo. Um, similarly, what we're going to do today, I'm going to plug this into the CD and then plug this into the cassette recorder of the Acorn Electron and then basically um, once I've done that I will um, be able to record it. It's the more trickier method because then you've got to get two set volume levels correct. You've got to get the volume level correct on the uh, CD player itself and on the cassette recorder that you're using. I much prefer. I mean, that was one pound thirty-nine. Incidentally, so it's, you know, it's not much. It's not much of a purchase. It's not expensive. Then you've got this little beauty here, which is the preferred method. It's got, a, if you can see there, in focus. Three standard three point five mil jack, and it splits it into two mono. I always connect it to the white one for some reason because I always consider the white to be left. So you know. I also, uh, so I always stick it to the one. I, to be honest, I haven't tried it on the red one yet. It might make any difference. Uh, let me just get the price for that for you. Right, this can be purchased on eBay for one eighty five, one pound eighty five. Um, overseas, if you're overseas, in the rest of Europe and uh, America, Canada, for example, I'm sure it's just as cheap to get it from a local dealer there. But here in the UK, it costs one pound eighty five, including postage and packaging, which I think is a bargain, really. You know, considering I can for two, for under two pound, I can you know, back up all my Spectrum and my Acorn Electron games onto CD for future prosperity and not risk damaging the already aging cassette tapes. Some of them cassette tapes are, you know, are over 20 years old, so the, the less time you spend playing them, really, and preserving them, the better, really. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's hook it up and see if it works. Right, here's my Acorn Electron switched on. And we have the cassette tape leads and the RF leads coming out. We've got the power lead going in. So that's sat there. Now, so basically we've got the leads here. So we want this one here, which is ear. Yeah. So we put that into the ear socket of our lovely Curry's cassette tape. So in that goes. So that goes in there. There we go, lovely. 